Hi, I'm Joe Caputo with Sensel, and uh, today we're showing the Sensel Morph, uh, a touch controller that uh, has some deep pressure sensitivity. Uh, we've got our visualizer up here uh, in max. We can have up to 16 touch points. Here I am with about 10. Very sensitive. Or we can get some pretty in-depth pressure control. The grid represents the, uh, uh, the total number of pressure sensitive points inside of the device. And then as we press harder, we start to see a larger peak being formed on the screen. Uh, we see the ring kind of indicating in different colors that there are different fingers in contact, expression being applied, right? As we move them around in the XY grid, and then we get that Z axis with the pressure. So each of those represents a different touch? Exactly. A different finger or pressure sensitive, uh, pressure device. It could be a, 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 some sort of physical object as well. A drumstick, a, a pen, a paintbrush, something of that nature. What is this running then? We're running on Max. This is a visualizer created inside of Max. Uh, and it's responding to the touch sensitivity of the device. Okay, so here we have the uh, Sensel hooked up through the Expert Sleepers FH2, a USB MIDI to CV interface. Uh, the device is running a Buchla Thunder overlay, which we can take off or put back on the device. It's been programmed to send uh, pitch, gate, uh, aftertouch, position control. <laughs> And it's also passing through the Lightstorm by uh, Strange Electronics, which is triggering the sign up above. <laughs> MIDI information, aftertouch, MIDI CC information all being picked up and sent through the USB MIDI to CV device into uh, uh, the noise engineering Bissimilis Iteratus Alter, as well as the Strange Electronic Visual Device. So as we apply more pressure through aftertouch, we get some color change, we get some pattern change, we get some saturation change, as well as some sound. So there's some direct interaction between the visual and the audio. And because it's modular, we're getting a monophonic signal. Once we move over to the computer, we'll get full MPE expressive functionality. So when we come over to uh, this device, it's hooked up to Bitwig on this PC. So here we get our full MPE expressive functionality. We get multi-touch. We get expression out of each finger independently, pitch, up and down motion, right, pressure as well. So all of these things are customizable in the Sensel Customizer app. Uh, we can even create custom overlays if you uh, would like something different than the multiple different types of overlays that we have. Uh, the overlays are nice because we can swap them out in real time and really quickly. we get the different functionality, the different assignments of these devices. Each overlay has an array of magnets at the top and bottom. The device can sense those magnets, the different arrangements of those magnets in each overlay. And so when we put it on there, it lets us know it's recognized.
So very quickly, the device itself recognizes these things. Once that information is flashed, the, the assignments, the, the uh, expressive uh, uh, MIDI elements assigned through the application, then we don't really need that application anymore. All of that information is remembered inside of the device. And uh, we could even disconnect it and use it via uh, Bluetooth, MIDI via Bluetooth. Uh, all available now except for the Thunder uh, overlay which is coming out this month uh, on pre-order now. Uh, the devices and overlays including some alternate overlays that we have up here for things like editing Adobe Premiere, uh, playing video games and the custom overlay. Uh, these are each $35 a piece. The device itself is around $200 with one overlay, $199 and uh, at least for the show. 249 normally for the show or for the device and then uh, we have the music makers kit which comes with these three overlays and the device normally 279 229 for the show